Good morning, Glads. It's finally Friday. I'm Dylan Ham. And I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your KWHS News. The Counseling Center is bustling with college visits. Lincoln Tech, a vocational school, will be here next Tuesday, February 28th, to close out February visits. March visits start off with reps from UNC Greeley visiting us on the 8th. You must have a hall pass to attend these college visits. Get those from the Counseling Center. While you're there, check out other important college-related information like scholarships. Hoiser & Hoiser is holding its first ever Right to Win contest slash scholarship. Hoiser & Hoiser is awarding five $1,000 scholarships to seniors attending college or trade school. The essay should not exceed 1,000 words and must be postmarked no later than March 1st. Check with the Counseling Center for the address and information. Did you know that Fort Hayes State offers music and theater scholarships for choir, band, and orchestra? Act quickly because their next auditions are on March 4th. Contact the Counseling Center for their contact information and audition requirements. Attention seniors, if you ordered items from Herb Jones, those will be delivered next Wednesday, March 1st at lunch in the lower commons. Do not expect to get your caps and gowns yet. Those will be delivered in May. Also, the final senior meeting is on March 9th at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. This meeting is a must-attend where you will receive important details concerning year-end information because, that's right, graduation is right around the corner. Remember, the tassel is worth the hassle. Speaking of graduation, the senior class is requesting pictures for the slideshow. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Send your photos to this email address. Hey Elijah, I know it's a little early, but you know me, I'm a little hungry. Want to know what we're having for lunch today? Absolutely, let's check in with Miss Betsy. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Friday everybody, another week down. Uh, sorry for a menu change today, but uh, we're going to have chicken soft taco with corn and black bean salad and Spanish rice. So come on down and see us and have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks Miss Betsy. Students, remember to pay your lunch chargers or add money to your accounts. Students, remember the Power Club is sponsoring a hat day today. You must have a wristband to wear your hat. All proceeds benefit the Widefield Senior Center. Also, students, today is the last day to turn in your golden ticket. Teachers, thanks for recognizing students who demonstrate power on a consistent basis. If you haven't handed out your golden power ticket, please be sure to do that today so students can get them in for the drawing at the assembly next week. Students, you can still buy your matchmaker results for $2. See Miss Ship in room 202 before or after school. Now here is Abby Becky with our sports update. It's finally Friday, Glads. I'm Abby Lorbecki, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our men's basketball team took on the Roosevelt Rough Riders on Wednesday night and won big, 93 to 61. Our Glads now advance to the next round of play against the Purple School tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at Mesa. Remember, these are playoff games, so everyone has to pay to get in. Students' tickets are $5, and adult tickets are $7. If you need a chocolate fix, the Whitefield baseball team is currently selling world's finest chocolate for just one dollar. Find any baseball player and satisfy that chocolate craving. Also, baseball tryouts begin on Monday. Meet on Big Blue at 345. Hey Glads, did you know we have a rising boxing star among us? Well, we do. His name is Luis Ibarra and here is our student spotlight directed and produced by Dylan Mack. I got started in boxing when I was like six years old with my dad. Eight years. My current sponsor is uh, McDonald's. They sponsored me about, about five years ago. The sponsor, they give us tra uh, traveling money. They help us uh, get there. They get, uh, help us get plane tickets and hotel rooms and when we travel to different states and for the sponsor on all my boxing shorts I wear the M for McDonald's on the bottom right corner. California. It's warm and there's a lot of beaches there. Mostly they just help us get to other other states and get to tournaments and help us get there with donations. I want to take it all the way to the professional level, get um, win a world title, and before that, hopefully go to the 2020 Olympics. One thing I would like people to know, I guess, is boxing is not as as 
brutal as they say it is. It's actually a lot more fun than, than a lot of other sports. Luis Ibarra, you are one cool dude. Glads, if you know of any other student who participates in sports outside of school, let us know so we can shine that spotlight on them too. Finally, Glads, if you plan to play a spring sport, those practices begin on Monday, February 27th, but if you do not have a yellow card and current physical on file, you cannot practice. Avoid the long line on Monday and see Mrs. Price today in the main office to pick up your yellow cards or physical packets. That's all I have for you today. I'm Abby Lorbecki. See you at the game tomorrow. Go Glads, beat Mesa. Back to you, Dylan and Elijah. Thanks, Abby. Attention students interested in attending the African American Youth Leadership Conference. The conference date is March 11th at Colorado College from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The conference is open to students in 6th to 12th grades. See Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center for more information. Juniors and seniors, it's not too early to start planning your prom experience. Outside guest passes are now available in the main office. Get yours early to ensure your date can accompany you to the biggest dance of the year. Guest passes are due back on April 14th. The prom itself will be on April 22nd. Finally, Glads, Student Senate kicked off its yearly campaign on Tuesday. This year, they are collecting hygiene products for homeless teens. The list of items is long, so check with a participating teacher to see where you can donate. Teachers who are participating have pumpkins in their rooms, and as always, Student Senate will also accept cash. Prizes will be awarded to the top two teachers' classes who raise the most money and collect the most items. The drive goes until March 3rd. We appreciate your attention today. Have a great Friday, and remember to get to the Mesa Gym early tomorrow night for the playoff game. I'm Dylan Hamm. And I'm Elijah Clark. We'll see you... Again on Monday, have a great weekend. Go Glads.